Hello and welcome to Louis Times. I am Kangana Sharma and now let's have a look at today's top 10 news that created headlines. In a significant move, Supreme Court has ordered immediate deportation of 17 foreign nationals from Assam detention camps, emphasizing the absence of criminal charges against them. The top court prioritized the deportation of four individuals who have endured detention for over two years. The center must ensure compliance with this directive and present a state of support by 26th of July, according to the Supreme Court. A study from Banaras Hindu University analyzing the lasting impacts of Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine found nearly a third of recipients reported adverse events of special interest. Among 926 participants, viral upper respiratory tract infections were prevalent. A Garuda Indonesia Boeing 747-400 carrying 450 passengers and 18 crew members made an emergency landing in Makassar after a fire was spotted in one of its engines during takeoff. The plane was bound for Medina, Saudi Arabia with several passengers intending to participate in the annual Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. However, no one was injured in the incident according to the Garuda Indonesia. China has built the world's first dedicated drone career but the circumstances surrounding it remains a mystery. The drone carrier is hidden on the Yangtze. The report said that the ship was launched in December 2022, but the news of it had not been reported until now. China currently has three careers, and this drone carrier would be the country's fourth. Amidst the vast expanse of world's oceans, a high-stakes game of maritime dominance is unfolding. India and China are emerging as formidable contenders vying for the coveted crown in career supremacy. India's current naval arsenal boasts of two formidable aircraft carrier, the Russian-built INS Vikramaditya and the indigenously constructed INS Vikram. However, the country's thirst for naval supremacy remains unsquenched, prompting the Defence Ministry to contemplate building a second indigenous aircraft carrier, tentatively dubbed IAC-2 or INS Vishal with a displacement of 65,000 tons. Chinese President Xi Jinping on Thursday hinted at a political settlement to end the Ukraine war, saying he expects peace and stability will return to European continent shortly after his talks with Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin as the two leaders vowed to counter any attempt by the US to hinder their strategic ties. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's sister Kim Yo-jong denied that her country has exported any weapons to Russia, as she labeled outside speculation on North Korea-Russian arms dealing as the most absurd paradox. South Korea and US have repeatedly accused North Korea of supplying weapons to Moscow, despite a raft of UN sanctions on both the countries that would ban any such arms transfer. Kapil Sibyl secures a landslide victory, reclaiming the presidency of the Supreme Court Bar Association for an unprecedented fourth term. With 1,066 votes, he outshines his closest competitor Pradeep Rai, who received 689 votes. Schengen visa applications from India experienced a significant rise last year, boosting the application numbers to 9.7 lakh, marking a substantial 44% increase from the previous year's 6.7 lakh. India secured the second position in terms of the percentage surge in application, following closely behind China. Cambodia and China began a 15-day military exercise on Thursday as questions grow about Beijing's increasing influence in Southeast Asian nation. About 1,315 Cambodian military personnel and 760 Chinese are participating in the regular Golden Dragon ground and sea maneuvers, including three Chinese and 11 Cambodian ships. The Golden Dragon exercises have been held on a regular basis since 2016.